Hi there Taurus, welcome to Young Guys Tarot. This is going to be your March 2021 bonus reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have going on for Taurus? Let's see what's happening for Taurus. We have nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So a lot of you like to cook, bake, uh, make something nutritious that's coming into play right now. And travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Ooh, so are you a chef that travels? Are you someone that really is into healthy living? And you travel and you um, maybe speak to people about this. Wow. Nice. Okay. What else do we have for Taurus? Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay. And then we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to, to do here. Some of you just starting out trying to um, talk to people, speak in public. Are you trying to get the confidence? Something about, you know, the, the nutrition, it just, I'm, I'm getting the word nurturing that they're saying nutrition but as long as you maybe it might be just you're very nurturing and food is very important you think very highly of food Re rejuvenating rain clear the past heal the present yeah so we have to let the past go in order to live in the present and when you live in the present then things start happening we can't live in the past and we can't live in the future we have to live in the now so choosing your path all is possible so whatever you're trying to do right now it is possible. You can manifest it. Okay, let's see what's going on for Taurus. I always feel like I'm on a, I'm going on a slant here. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, here. We have three of swords. Okay, or some of you maybe trying to heal. A broken heart with food. Okay, let's see. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, which could be your energy, or it could be another Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Um, doing quite well financially. And also there's justice come in. Libra energy. Something there could be justice brought in the situation with this broken heart. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be just that energy. Someone coming in passionately to speak to you and offering their cup of love here so this is an offer coming in and they could be younger than you and then we have here the four of cups and you're not sure if you're going to take this offer or if you're offering to someone you're not sure if they'll take it from you and for some I'm, I'm feeling that not for all but some are not feeling quite well right now let's see but I don't th I think that's just a temporary thing okay three of swords maybe someone has a cold right now or has a blue or just down feels really down um, lack of energy is what I'm getting okay let's see let's see why is it three of swords here we have ooh the tower because th this was a shock this whatever caused this heartache this this sour sour sorrow in your life was a shock it came out of nowhere but whenever this comes in so it's every time the tower comes in something new comes in something better maybe something a wake-up call okay why is the queen of pentacles here the star okay this could be Aquarius here or you could be in your in the spotlight now. As far as work is concerned, I think you're doing quite well. You're getting noticed. You're in the spotlight. People are recognizing your work. You're able to uh, multitask and manage a lot of different things. I feel. And let's see the justice. Why is the justice here? Page of Wands. Okay, here's more information coming in. Someone's coming in. Maybe someone's going to send you a letter, or um. 
a text, a phone call. Someone wants to talk about this justice and making things equal, even things out. Something's coming, or it could be even a legal matter. Maybe you're getting information that you won the court case or something's over, or it, you know, and with the justice, it's coming out in your favor. So if you're waiting for some kind of news on a court case, I think it's going to come out in your favor and you're getting news soon about this. Okay, and the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Hmm, Ten of Pentacles. So, this might be a new job offer. Something coming in that is going to be um, bringing you a lot of money. There's someone coming in to offer you this um, new position. Or this this Knight of Pentacles. Or Knight of Wands, sorry. This Knight of Wands is financially stable. And they want to ha start a situation start a relationship up with you offer you something okay why is the page of cups here okay so someone's been really reflecting on this um, love offer I think you got a love offer or you think about making a love offer and you're not sure how to go about it or they're not sure how, how to go about it, but someone's doing a lot of deep thoughts on this maybe you're meditating and up here, they're worried about this broken heart here. So if this is someone from the past, you're not sure if you want to go through this pain again because you went through a tower moment. Okay, let's get another deck here. Okay, let's explain this. Three of swords with the tower, please. There's more clarifying on this, please. Wow. <laughs> okay. This was major. This was a major um, surprise and a loss. This really affected you deeply because now we have the two towers and we have the two three of swords. This is like really hard on you. And But this could be someone from the past that you're thinking about. Okay. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles with the star, please. emperor okay so this could be aries you're dealing with we have aquarius and the star we have aries and the emperor and then with the the queen of pentacles we've got another taurus capricorn or virgo but the energy is like someone wants to take charge of the situation is it you want to take charge of this someone to go back with someone past or this this person trying to come in and take charge of the situation we'll have to do more clarifying we'll go on to the next row though okay we have yeah, someone's up in their head. They don't know how to make a decision here. They're, um, other people might be interfering, and that's causing a lot of conflict. Can't listen to other people. Go with your heart and your head, not anyone else's. They have nothing to do with this. You and your person is the ones that are involved in this. It's just to be the two of you. Don't listen to others. They cause more hassles. They, want, they just want the situation that will benefit them, not what will benefit you. <coughs> If they want your attention, they're not going to want you with someone else. Page of Swords. Okay, so now we have the Page of Swords. So, there's definitely something new starting with you. I think you might be going on a new quest here, a new beginning, learning something new. Maybe at your job or a new, you're taking on a new job. You're going to a new company. But you, there's some learning involved. There's something that you have to learn or you are trying to research something here. You're trying to find out information, or maybe you're even trying to find out information about this person. Because the Page of Swords could also be the spy here, so you could be spying on someone, trying to figure out what's going on in their life, especially if it's someone from the past. Okay, what else do we have here? Nine of Cups, yeah, but you want to offer this cup of love. Because this person brings you a lot of happiness and then you're thinking about how to do this or it's there they want to do this for you. They want to bring this back together. And we have seven cups. There is choices though. I think either you or your person has many choices. Hmm, okay. Put this over here. Now, let's clarify why we have the three Three of Swords with two towers. Wow. Why is that? I think I want three cards for this to clarify this. 
Please give me three cards. Okay, yes, yeah, someone's trying to manifest a new beginning here. Someone's thinking that, but they're not sure if this person, either you or your person, is not sure if the other person will take this offer. But they really want, there's a lot of passion here. Someone is really working hard. They even might be, um, I don't know if it's, someone might even be trying to um, work a spell or something. And they're not trying to do it in a mean way or anything. They just really want this connection back. I lost without this connection. And then someone's moving away from something to move to something better. So it's be either you or your person trying to move away from a present situation to move on to something better here. Okay. Let's get another card here for the second row with the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, and the Emperor. Let's see. The Sun. Yeah, the, the Leo energy now here too. Someone feels very happy with this connection. They want to bring it back. A lot of happiness. See, you or your person, they feel like you make them very happy. Had a lot of fun together. Page of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone definitely wants to make an offer. There's a lot of ideas about offers. Do I bring a gift? Do I just go with communication? Do I say how passionate I am? Do I bring my cup of love? It's like, there's a lot of Someone's really thinking how to go about this. They, they're they stuck in their head. They're trying to figure this out. But you have the Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Page of Cups. You have every page here. So someone's looking at this at every different angle. Maybe that's the choices too. The, the Seven of Cups is how do I go about making this offer? Do I profess my love? Do I profess my passion? Do I um, talk to them on a, a mental level? You know, the, the voice my concerns and, and how I really feel and uh, be very intellectual. Or do I offer them a gift? Wow. Got every page. <laughs> Six of Cups. Yes, this is definitely someone from your past that you're trying to connect with. They're trying to connect with you. There is a deep love here. A lot of happiness. But the tower really hurt. Ten of swords. Yeah, there was an ending. There was an ending of this nine of cups of this happiness. That was really... It hurt a lot. So and then we have the, the three of swords. Yeah, again we have the three of swords again. A lot of heartache through this. Wow. I'm so sorry, Taurus. This is a tough one here, but I think you both want to um, make a connection here. Because there is the Six of Cups here. I, I think I need to take a note. This is... Oh, let's take this one. What else do we have? There's more information on this for Taurus, please. Well, there we go. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. I think you, you feel like you're... You're destined to be back together. Sometimes, you know, when if it's a twin flame situation or um, a soulmate connection, sometimes you have to be brought together. The universe brings you together. And then you have to go your separate way to learn and grow. And then you're being brought back together. So if it's meant to be, it will be. What else do we have here for Taurus? And I think you guys are going to come back together. Page of Swords. Yeah, someone's spying. Someone's um, trying to figure out what the other one's doing. Watch on um, social media, going by their house or work or or asking about them, trying to find out information. What else do we have? And waiting. Uh, the divine timing in this, I'm waiting for the perfect time to come to make a move. Making a decision here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to be a new opportunity coming in finances. So your money looks really good. There may be a new job or a new, new situation that's coming in. Someone's getting a new job or a business, starting a new business, starting something new. So may you're waiting on the money. Yep, here we go. The Six of Cups again. There's definitely a past life situation and someone has to make a decision. There might be more than one person 
interested in this person or interested in you or you're interested in more than one person but there is a really deep connection here with this um, six of cups coming up twice and someone's afraid of getting rejected but there is love here I feel like there's a lot of love okay you know what just I want another card let's see we'll just put three more cards on this and close this off I feel like I'm leaving you guys hanging. I don't want to leave you hanging. Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, someone feels like someone was sneaky. Someone um, is not opening up or something. And someone's left out. But they want this Ten of Pentacles. They feel like there's a lot of happiness here. They just want to be brought back in. Into their good graces with this person. So they are. Here we have the Seven of Swords. So it's like, this is again, this is sneaky. Sneaky, um... Someone's doing something sneaky here. But it's because they don't want to be left out in the cold. They want this Ten of Pentacles they feel with this person. And they feel that the world is at the end. They feel like this person is their world. This is completion. They want This is an ending for a new beginning. This is something coming back around. So I really do feel like for a lot of you, you are going to have someone. You are going to connect with someone from the past. And take another shot at this. Alright Taurus, I hope you liked your read and please like, share and subscribe and hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.